Good Midwest morning, everyone. This is Nicole, your mobile bloggist for TOCtown.com. And today I have an instruction production tip from my binder. I use this pretty much when I go on retreat, when I'm on the express, because so many advantages to actually when you have a binder system. I'll go ahead and link another video that I did ooh, maybe about a year ago and it turned out to be pretty popular so I thought I'd do a follow-up and share with you the new binder that I'm going to be using in 2019 into 2020 picked it up from Staples and filled it with different inserts from different small business owners and planner companies so pretty much and yes I do color code what I did was I went ahead and picked up a pad from Get to Work book by Elise Joy. And I put in an Avery tab. And also I decided to go ahead and not just decorate it, but functionally, functionally use it for what I needed to do in the studio today. So pretty much it was a good thing that I did measure, <clears throat> excuse me, that I did take measurements because I have a new mat, which I think is going to be a little bit too big to fit on the shelves. So I have to figure out another solution for the mat. But one thing <laughs> I've just learned is not only measure twice, but cut once, but write your measurements down because a lot of times you may know how to measure things by visual you know, just by the look of it, you can have an idea, but there's nothing better than having the physical numbers and measurements to know whether or not something's going to fit. Okay. Then I just, you know, pop this back into my production planner that way while I'm out on the road, then pretty much I can reference it, you know, the topic as well as what I wanted to get done for the weekend. Okay. That's number one. Then the second thing I wanted to share with you was I will be doing a stamping staycation on my retreat channel. And I'll be using these colors as a Caribbean crew theme to outline the points that I want to use while, you know, thinking through the topics that I'm going to discuss. They're going to be small business owner related. But definitely, I want to keep it to a two by two size and it's fully uh, adhesive on the back. So that way I can pull up and pull, put down as many times as necessary before, you know, the project is over. It's going to pretty much take me about mm, a couple, maybe a few weeks to plan it out because I want to do a really good thorough job. Then when I post it up, I'll let you know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you're aware of when my next video is posted on the channel. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to share an update on the planner that I'll be using. That's my media box. I carry it everywhere I go because it's vital to so many things when I'm in the studio. Okay, so... Just to give you an update, I did switch out the disc for the planner. The original ones were for my mini happy planner, which I'll show you in the video. I just really like to take that planner along with me, you know, not only because it's portable, but I filled it with, you know, sheets of paper that I can take notes on while I'm in a meeting and, you know, transfer them to this binder. But this binder, I wanted it to be small and concise for my winter workshop. So let me give you a quick flip through. And I went ahead and divided it in the book according to sections. So here I dropped in some note pages. And then the next section is the calendar section. This is where I'm going to put the adhesive notes. So... In the next video, I'll take care of that. And, of course, <laughs> her cover page for the month of April was Don't Overthink It, but my thought was Always Plan It Out. So that's what the 2019 Winter Workshop production is going to be based on. 
I'm going to be sharing with you my spring and summer socials, my TLCtown.com as I build it out, the Artisan Admin Retreat Center Studio Life, what is it going to look like for 2020, of course, the live and local planners, as well as the on the express retreats, all of that in a one month planning. So I shared a video of what it would look like, you know, pretty much when you plan it out, you know, not just step by step, but using the dates or the days as you upcycle your planner. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the workshop. It's going to be 10 different sessions. At least I have some graph pages on at the end where, you know, it's always important to, you know, get a visual on what you want to post. Okay, I think that is it for my update this weekend. Stay tuned. This is the color scheme that I'm really liking for the Caribbean crew. Let's see, and now I have the green light for the new projects. Alrighty, I'm Nicole, your mobile blog is for TOCtown.com. Until we meet online or face-to-face, -face, take care.